This video is a packing comparison on the five minimalist backpacks I showed you last week. I have the Cabin Zero ADV Pro, MEC Vapor Overnighter, Arquito Faro, the Gregory Compass, and the Osprey Arcane Duffel. If you want a mid-sized, lightweight travel backpack, I think one of these bags is gonna work really well for most people. They're all in the 30 to 35 liter range. They're all lightweight, under one kilogram, or about two pounds, and they all have laptop compartments. I'll include a full packing list in the description, but just so you can see what I'm putting into these bags, two pairs of pants, two pairs of shorts, one swimsuit, five t-shirts, two button-up shirts, I have five underwear, three socks, this little wind shirt, then I'm gonna save a puffy jacket in case I need it for the larger packs. And then all of my miscellaneous electronics, laptop, toiletry kit, day pack, other small miscellaneous items. I'm not gonna walk through all these things, but again, I'll include this full list in the description below. I'll start off by packing the Osprey Arcane 30. Packing this bag is pretty simple. I'm gonna put all the small items I wanna access quickly into this top slash pocket. The rest of my electronics, notebook, other small items in this little mesh lid pocket here. And in this large duffel stock compartment is pretty much a no-brainer to pack. Packing cubes work great in bags like this. I have these large 14 and a half by 12 Eagle Creek compression cubes. And then the rest of your gear just kind of nestles right on the top there. And then of course a laptop over here in this side access laptop compartment. This is what that pack looks like completely full. Maybe a little bit of room to squish some stuff in here. This bag gets a little bit rounded if you overpack it. I don't want to do that, so mostly full. The carry comfort in this bag is decent. It's kind of too small of a pack. It's only 30 liters. It's kind of hard to overpack this bag to the point where it's going to be too hard to carry around for these backpack straps. I wouldn't be crying if there was a sternum strap here. I don't think this bag really needs a hip belt. It's kind of too small for that. But overall, it has decent, comfortable carry. I can pretty much carry this thing around all day without a problem. I just weigh this thing with my travel scale. It's about a little overweight, seven and a half kilograms or about 16.4 pounds. I'll switch everything over in the Gregory Compass, 30 liter pack, same capacity. These bags are virtually identical as far as the duffel style opening. This bag doesn't really have a kind of a freestanding opening like the Osprey did. This lid here is a little bit heavier and it kind of weighs the pack down. So. You need to put these packing cubes in, kind of give the bag structure. I have these same 14 by 12 packing cubes, pretty much fit exactly in the bag like the other Osprey. And I'll put the same gear in the same orientation, basically right here on top of the duffel compartment. It has a really similar mesh pocket in the lid for my small items, electronics and gear. Laptop in the same side access laptop compartment. And then you have the same kind of top access slash pocket. This one is quite a bit bigger than the Osprey, but I'm gonna put the same gear in here as I did in that bag. And then weighing this thing, it's actually a little bit lighter, 7.4 kilograms and 6.3 pounds. So about a 10th of a pound lighter than the Osprey bag, which is kind of cool for the same capacity. This is what this bag looks like completely packed out. Basically, looks about the same as the Arcane Duffel does. And this is that pack on me fully packed. This thing does, kind of looks a little bit weird from the outside. It kind of sits really low. It kind of feels weird because it kind of sits in the upper part of your butt instead of being right on your back. But overall, it doesn't really deter from the comfortableness of wearing the pack. I think it just makes it look a little bit weird on your back. The backpack straps on this bag are a little bit thinner and they're a little bit less padded than in the Arcane Duffel, but they do have this little sternum strap, which helps with the comfort. Now the next size up, Cabin Zero ADV Pro. This is a 32 liter pack. Should be a little bit bigger than those other two, but this thing does have a lot more as far as internal organization pockets. So that's gonna eat a little bit into the capacity. The packing style in this bag is a little bit different than most travel backpacks. Instead of having a clamshell panel style opening, this thing has the zipper that kind of runs down, zooms around and cuts off the front of the bag. I have the same two packing cubes in here and I'll put the other gear on top. You're gonna to wanna to close this bag after getting the bottom full before you pack the stuff. On the top, if you try to pack it all in and then zip it up, this stuff tends to tendency to just kind of fall out. This thing has better interior organization, so I'm gonna get rid of this mesh bag and just pack all these items, all my loose small items, into all these zippered compartments in this pocket here and on the front. And because I can't fit my laptop in this 14 inch sleeve, 
To be fair, I'm just gonna go ahead, you can just stick it right here in the main front compartment without being protected at all. Wouldn't carry it around like this normally, but just for purposes of demonstration, it works for now. A few more items in these mesh pockets in this front organizational compartment and the rest of the small chargers and items that I want easy access to in this top slash pocket. This is what that pack looks like, completely full. I kind of feel like it doesn't look any bigger. It packs out about the same. It looks pretty much identical to what the Osprey Arcane Duffel does. So I don't know if 32 liters is really accurate for this bag. Packing style is a little bit different, has a lot more interior organization. So that kind of eats into the main compartment, but they should account for that when they're telling you what the capacity is. And I just weighed this pack. It's the heaviest so far of these three, 7.6 kilograms or about 16.7 pounds. I think the Cabin Zero is the most comfortable of any of these packs. It has the best back padding. It's got a good ridge running down. Great air ventilation, it feels great on your back. Has the thickest, most padded, comfortable shoulder straps. Has good adjustability with the sternum strap and the top load adjusters. And I just like the way this bag feels when I'm carrying it around. Next up, we have the MEC Vapor Overnighter. It's a 33 liter pack, so it should be about one liter larger than the last bag we just looked at. But in reality, you can already tell it's noticeably larger, has quite a bit more capacity than the other bag. This is a clamshell opening bag with two almost equally sized compartments. There's almost no internal structure on this bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the packing cubes over here on the side with the backpack straps. These are gonna fill this compartment nicely and give the bag some good structure. This other side of the pack, I'm gonna put all my other bulky items. This bag is noticeably larger, so I went ahead and stuck a puffy jacket in here. It's gonna take up a good amount of space without adding a lot of weight. And you have very little external organization, but a lot of great internal organization. I'm gonna put most of my small items in here. There's two large mesh pockets over on this lid, the laptop compartment, and then there's two other big zipper pockets over here. So four pockets in all, a lot of great organization for your small gear. And again, the laptop sleeve is gonna be located right here in the middle of the pack, kind of sandwiched between, protected on both ends and top and bottom. So really nestled in there nicely. And then the rest of these small items I want to be able to get to easily. I'm just gonna stick these in this top slash pocket. This thing's weighing at about 7.8 kilograms or 17.2 pounds. And then this pack, completely full. It is noticeably larger. That puffy jacket helped, added a little bit of extra weight, but I think the bag looks a lot nicer now. It's not all floppy. And this is what this pack looks on me, completely full. For some reason, these backpack straps, despite being really thin, they just fit really well on my shoulders here. And I wouldn't mind if there was a sternum strap or anything, this bag, it definitely wouldn't hurt, but this thing is surprisingly comfortable for how minimalist the backpack straps are. And finally, the largest of these bags is the Arquito Ferro 35. This thing has what I call a panel style opening, basically this front flap that folds down from the top, really similar opening to a duffel style compartment, except it has a side opening instead of a back opening lid. This thing has two compression straps to kind of keep your gear in place. I'm gonna use them to keep these packing cubes from sliding around. But other than those, there's no other internal pockets or any kind of other organization in here. I'm gonna stack the rest of my bulky items on top of the packing cubes in this main compartment here. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep the puffy jacket because there's plenty of room for it. I don't want this pack to be floppy. The laptop compartment goes back here in this adjustable laptop sleeve. You have quite a bit of organization in this tech compartment also for some other small gear. So I'll put a few things back here. I'll put the thin stuff in this back slash pocket. And then the rest of the small items I want easy access to in this top slash compartment. This is the Ferro completely packed out. Again, this bag will be a little bit floppy if it's not completely full. I think I did a good job kind of packing it out without making it over full. And I just weighed this thing. It comes in almost exactly the same as the MEC bag did. 7.8 kilograms or about 17.3 pounds. And then this is the Ferro. And despite these straps being quite a bit wider than the MEC, they just don't feel quite as comfortable. Do wish this thing had a sternum strap. That would really help. The back padding isn't uncomfortable. It's pretty flat with your laptop back there. And there's really not a whole lot of air ventilation. So moderately comfortable, 
probably my least favorite carry out of all five of these packs. I'll include the full specifications to all these bags as well as the packing list and links to individual reviews on these packs in the description below in case you want more information. And I hope you enjoyed this overview of these minimalist backpacks and thanks for watching.